abortion is basically unthinkable in Texas now. And as far as I know, people are doing great in Texas. So it's worked out great. Texas is a model for the nation. But um, what would be kind of your advice as far as approaching that issue? Because I feel like the Democrats are trying to run solely on the messaging of Trump's a felon and he's, you know, we're, we're these crazy pro-lifers. Crazy pro-lifers are going to try to jam down our legislative throats a national abortion uh, the answer to your very, very important question is play to the room. And by that, I mean, no, you don't become less pro-life. I know you won't. I know I won't. I don't want any candidate to either. But I want our candidates to say that in this post Roe v. Wade era, and thank God Roe v. Wade was overturned, not because I'm pro-life or you're pro-life or anybody's pro-life. I mean, that's why. I was. But the reason Roe v. Wade had to be overturned is because it was stone cold unconstitutional. There is no right to abortion in the Constitution. So what we have now is something that I believe America is slowly getting used to. And that is the notion that in our state of Texas, we're going to protect a lot of babies. In California and New York, they're not. That's their call. President Trump himself has said this, that, you know, the country is going to be a tapestry. Different states are going to handle things differently. As a pro-life person, I want to fight for every state to be as pro-life as Texas is, and I'm going to do that. Am I going to walk out into the arena and start talking about a national 15-week ban right now? I am not. Not because I wouldn't like one, but because you got to be very, very careful about it. Right now, with every state doing what every state wants to do, it means that California and New York are still ghoulishly permissive, and I don't like that. But it means that Texas and Alabama and Utah, it can be really, really pro-life. And I love that. I don't want to lose it. I don't want to give it up. Mm -hmm. And here's the risk of telling Congress, hey, let's have a legislative 15-week standard. We are then just one election cycle away from having Congress undo that. It, it, the minute we say federal abortion law, we say take it out of the hands of the states. And as soon as it is in Congress's hands, Congress can flip. Republican, Democrat, Republican, Democrat. Uh, Rep uh, Democrats talk all the time about wanting Roe v. Wade, the protections of Roe v. Wade, codified into law. Well, not right now. You're not going to come to my Texas and tell us we can't be pro-life. But if we do put this in the hands of the federal government with a federal law we like, we may two years later, four years later, get a federal law that we hate. So be careful what you're waiting for.